Uh, thank you very much. Um, we came here with the president in line with our national um, annual team, which is Citizens Convergence for Change, where the president was supposed to meet uh, different stakeholders. Uh, we are part and parcel of the change project in Zimbabwe. The president addressed this, uh, some sections of um, um, the community under the Citizens Convergence for Change. We met with some social groups in the morning and we proceeded uh, to Jarumira village just uh, a few kilometers from here to have a conversation uh, in terms of our condolences uh, with uh, a member of the Democratic Alternative who was mourning. But uh, to our surprise, um, that uh, Zanupe had unleashed a um, group of uh, young people uh, were funded to barricade the road and stop uh, the presidential motorcade. So our advanced team, which was um, uh, uh, forward and uh, before us, uh, gave a signal to our motor vehicle, but we had already approached, and we tried to seek a uh, conversation because it is part and parcel of our democratic freedom and right to move uh, as political ship this country. We are not a bad organization. We are a constitutionally recognized political organization. Um, so rowdy crowds started uh, to barricade the road and chant Sanupev slogans. Um, and you saw uh, our vehicle, as you saw, the presidential motorcade was attacked directly by um, stones. People were carrying machetes, uh, denouncing uh, the president of the democratic alternative. Um, you know, um, and you saw that uh, most of our cars, particularly those uh, that were in the front of the presidential car, and the, and the car of the president was directly attacked. We don't take this attempt to assassinate our president likely as the democratic movement. Yeah, we saw the videos uh, circulating, especially of uh, the president's vehicle. It was smashed. Is the president safe right now? The president is in safe hand. You know that uh, the president has got the mandate of more than 2 million citizens. And our first moral and political responsibility is to defend the visionary. And we are very clear as a democratic movement and as a leadership collective uh, that um, the president's safety must be our priority and is in a safe space as I'm speaking to right now. Um, but we're also taking legal and all routes possible to ensure that justice is brought because this is a clear case of an attempt on the life of the president and an attempt to assassinate the president and remove him out of the political uh, race as we prepare for the 2023 election. You know that um, we are targeting to have 6 million votes as a democratic alternative. Defeat and victory for the democratic movement is certain. And that's why the regime has entered the chapter of violence and terror as a way to ensure that they stop um, the, the next plebiscite. And we are very clear as the democratic alternative that any attempt to thwart and annihilate the right to vote in Zimbabwe is creating fatal grounds for instability. We have tolerated uh, such activities for a long time as uh, a generation and as an alternative. So we are very clear that uh, we condemn violence, attempt uh, to do the same on our leadership and every member of the community as we are going uh, for the next plebiscite. Yeah, uh, Stalo, you spoke, you spoke about uh, the six million target. Do you think this is a possibility since uh, uh, we've seen uh, the, the attack on the life of uh, the president himself? Uh, what's, what's the way forward uh, from here? We will continue to mobilize communities, particularly here in rural areas, because we are winning the next election and we are conscious of the responsibility and the task at the end. There is no struggle without bruises. There is no struggle without attempt to our lives and that of our leadership. So we are very clear the democratic alternative in terms of the task at the end. We are going to continue mobilizing communities and from here we are going for another political program as per our plans as the leadership of the MDC. As the deputy spokesperson of the party, what's your parting words, especially to your members who apparently may be disturbed by what happened to the life of the president himself? We have to assure our people that uh, we are safe as the leadership, the president is safe. Yes, there has been an attempt to the life of the president, but we must be very clear. We must continue to focus on the task at the end, which is to liberate and bring an end to such toxic violent, brutal politics, because it belongs to the past. So we are going to usher in a democratic breakthrough through uh, hard work and ensuring that uh, we mobilize our people to focus on the strategic objective, which is to win the next uh, uh, election and form a government that must govern differently. Thank you.